Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today I want to do a quick video on opening ARCHICAD 28 files in ARCHICAD 29. At face value, it's as simple as opening ARCHICAD 29, selecting the file you want to open, and start working. The differences between 28 and 29 are pretty minimal, so there's really no reason not to take your ARCHICAD 28 files into ARCHICAD 29 and pretty much just abandoning ARCHICAD 28. However, there's one thing to consider or be aware of when opening files that use the global libraries. Right here is this file in ARCHICAD 28. You can see all the ARCHICAD library packs, applications, graph software, ARCHICAD 28. This is what we're looking at here, boot, boot, all that, okay? So if I jump over to ARCHICAD 29 and I open the same file and we go to the libraries, you can see it's still using the ARCHICAD 28 libraries. When I open this file, it didn't migrate to the ARCHICAD 29 file libraries because it can still find and see the ARCHICAD 28 libraries. So if you want to update this file to work with the 29 file libraries, there's two ways to do it. One is to manually add all this stuff, which is a pain. You don't want to do that. This could take too long. The other thing we can do, let's close this file. We can go over to ARCHICAD 28. And we can rename the whole folder, let's say ARCHICAD 28 USA. Now we go back to ARCHICAD 29. I'm going to open that same file. Open as read only, that's fine because I already have the file open. We wait for a second while ARCHICAD loads. Maybe Madeline can edit this out or speed it up. Now, when I go to Library Manager, because I renamed the folder from ARCHICAD 28 to ARCHICAD 28 USA, uh, Graphsoft can't find it, so now it replaces it with the 29 global libraries. However, it can't find the ARCHICAD Legacy Objects USA. So, if you're using those objects, the thing to do, let's close this once more, is you don't actually want to rename this folder. You want to go to ARCHICAD 28, find ARCHICAD Library Packages, and we just renamed this folder. This you can see is where all the library packs are. Let's just call it hidden. And now when we close this, we don't save. Now we reopen that same folder. Open this read only. Or sorry, open that same file. Uh, we wait here. Hopefully Madeline speeds up the video so we don't have to stare at the loading screen for too long. Okay. Now it can find this because that path still exists to Graphsoft to ARCHICAD 28 slash ARCHICAD legacy libraries. Uh, but the ARCHICAD 28 library packages folder can't be found, so it defaults to 29. That's how you get access to the ARCHICAD 29 libraries for your 28 projects. For those of us who are migrating to 29, we have a choice. The simplest thing to do would be to change this library name and just leave it like this and just don't open ARCHICAD 28 because if we now go to ARCHICAD 28, we close this project and now we reopen this project in ARCHICAD 28, all the libraries are missing because it, wow, that's really goofy, um, because it can't find all these libraries. To get these libraries back, we'd have to go back, rename this to that. Now, if I just go reload and apply, then it finds it. And if we go over to ARCHICAD here, actually, if we hit reload and apply, I'll be fine because it's already moved over to 29, um, which would be an alternate way of making that change if we go back and open this file once more. Open as read only. Hopefully this works so I don't have to cut out the video, but okay. So it's now linked to ARCHICAD 28 because the library is back to the original name. So if we change this back to hidden, we go back to ARCHICAD 29 and we hit reload. Now everything is missing. So that's interesting. If we want to make this library switch, we have to do it when the file opens. If we remove it and then hit reload and apply, uh, everything will stay missing. And if I hit migrate libraries, what will happen? Nothing. That's for migration libraries, which does us no good. That's good to know. You can't change the name of the library while in the file. You have to change it with the library, with the file closed. I hope all that makes sense. Um, the short version of this is when you start using ARCHICAD 29, rename your ARCHICAD library packages 
folder in ArchiCAD 28 and everything will work great and you'll have access to all the 29 libraries. If you don't do that, you'll just use ArchiCAD 29 with the ArchiCAD 28 library packages and it's not the end of the world until you try to use some of the new cabinets and features and you're frustrated why they're not there. Hope that makes sense. Please ask questions, download the work environment, start using ArchiCAD 29 and a template should be coming in the coming weeks. Thank you very much. Have a great day.